Good, I'm um, back here with Dennis Howard, the technical manager of Munster Bovine. Uh, Tom Baker is my own name. And um, just a question I have for Dennis is, for farmers perhaps that have stopped using AI, um, most farmers will say that, you know, there is a lull, quite a lull comes when farmers stop using AI and then they, they live off the stock bulls. Can you explain that perhaps, Dennis? Yeah, it's, it comes up all the time, doesn't it? This lull in mm. calving. So when the, AI, when the AI calves stop uh, and there's a lull, I suppose one, one reason is obviously gestation length. You know, that a lot of the, the AI beef bulls um, are quite short gestation length. So that's, okay. that's one possible reason. I suppose the other one then is, um, look, I think it takes a while for stock bulls to transition into their work. So there's a settling in period where, um, where they, mightn't, they might be missing cows. Um, they mightn't be as fertile for the first few days as they are as, the, as they get going. Um, and I suppose the other question then is, especially if there's multiple bulls, are they all fertile? So, you know, mm. subfertile bulls are quite common. And especially if there's multiple bulls, um, a subfertile or even infertile bull can, can survive away in that scenario and yeah. um, without anyone knowing, unless you're actually going to the trouble of fertility testing. Yeah. So really, ultimately, farmers should also be uh, fertility testing their bulls would be something yeah. very important. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's something I think that it's not a big expense. It's a huge risk reduction exercise. It's yeah. not, it's mm. not um, you know, there's no, nothing 100%, but it's a huge risk mm. reduction exercise, you know, when you consider the, the implications. Yeah, that's right. Um, something else that I see working very well on farm is farmers that continue to AI alongside the stock bulls. So they live off the stock bulls. Mm -hmm. The stock bulls actually are doing the heat detection for them. Yeah. But by continuing to uh, put in a straw themselves or use yeah. AI tech, whatever, I think that works very well. And I think you'd agree, most farmers will come back and say at least 50% of the time, you know, a big lift they're using, if they have an Angus bull left off and they're using a Hereford straw, mm, they're, get, they're still getting Hereford There's a nice Hereford Hereford Hereford's calves. born. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And as you said, the bulls mm. will do the heat detection, so the heat detection becomes easier. Yeah. And I suppose the big thing, Tom, really, is about the ratio, you know, of, of, of cows bulling to the stock bulls. Right. Um, and if it's too high, so look, the real safe ratio is if you have a cow per bull, um, yeah. you know, you know you're, you're, you're in a really happy place. But if, for instance, if you have two stock bulls and there's four cows bulling, the chances are, like unless they're nailers of bulls altogether, that there's, you could very easily have a cow or two missed that day. Um, yes. So your point there about keep keeping AI, I suppose again, it is risk reduction. Um, you know that you have that insurance policy of AI. So um, I suppose our, our message really is, is to keep AI with the stock bulls. And you'll have a great chance of avoiding the lulling calving and minimising your, your empty cows as well at the end, you know. Yeah, I think that's very good advice, Dennis, yeah. yeah, yeah.